Fort de la Presentation. In 1749, the war between France and England, King George's War as it was known in the colonies, had come to a fragile peace with the signing of the Treaty of Aix la Chapelle, October 18, 1748. Although this treaty restored the status before the war for the French and English in North America, a common distrust and a lingering wait for the next big explosion between the two sides remained. In 1748, a Sulpician priest, Abbe Francois Piquet, who had successfully built a mission at the Lake of Two Mountains on the Ottawa River, persuaded the government of New France to allow him to build a mission on the British side of the St. Lawrence River. The mission was to shelter and convert the Iroquois, chiefly Onondaga and Cayuga, to Catholicism, and provide a military base in English territory. Piquet's hope was to woo the Indian population away from the English and engage them as an effective fighting force. With the blessing of his government and Iroquois leaders, Piquet embarked on his quest. Traveling up the St. Lawrence River, Piquet was attracted to the peninsula at present-day Ogdensburg, New York. His military eye saw the protected natural harbor at the mouth of the Oswegatchie River as a strategic location. He landed November 21, 1748, the feast day of the presentation of the Virgin Mary, and made arrangements to return the following spring to realize his goals. The abbe returned May 30, 1749, with four to six converted Iroquois, a stonemason, a carpenter, a few French soldiers, and Canadian laborers, about 29 people in all. The mission, known as Fort de la Presentation, was started June 1, 1749. Twenty-four days later, June 25, Celeron de Bienville, on his way to the Ohio Valley, found Abbe Piquet lodging under an Indian-type bark shed while the post was under construction. The first structures included lodgings, a simple house for the abbe, a barn and an oven, rough dressed stone palisades 70 feet square flanked the house. Sometime between June and December 1749, a small band of Indians slipped down the Oswegatchie and attacked the mission. They met resistance, but managed to use incendiaries to burn most of the mission. The defenders were just as determined at driving back the attackers, and both sides achieved their goals. The only reported casualty was a French guard who lost an arm when his musket exploded. The attack was blamed on the Iroquois, particularly the Mohawks allied to the English at Oswego and in the Mohawk Valley. The number of defenders at the mission is unknown and is ranged between three French soldiers and the original 29. The whereabouts of the Abbey during this attack is uncertain given the time frame stated for the attack. However, there are indications he was not present. The outcome of the attack did not deter the spirit of the abbe or his goals. Within a few years, Fort de la Presentation was rebuilt, became an important military base, and provided an invaluable Indian fighting force for the French. Mm -hmm.